Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I have something that I think is pretty exciting to show you guys. It is shared graphics on virtual desktops. And to start with, I want to talk about the hardware setup. What you're seeing on the left and on the right are two hardware setups that are completely identical. Uh, I have a Dell R720, I actually have two Dell R720s, and I have four NVIDIA Grid K2 cards. There's two uh, K2 cards in each R720, and they are hardware identical. Where they differ is on the software. And what you'll notice with the software is that I say Zen Desktop 7.0 on the left and Zen Desktop 7.1 on the right. I just want you to know Although they are slightly different, this was for a technical reason in my lab and has really nothing to do with what's going on in the presentation today. Other than 7.1 is required for NVIDIA Grid vGPU support. But what I really want you to focus on today is the bottom line there, vSphere 5.5 on the left and Zen Server 6.2 on the right. Let's start by talking about what VMware is doing with the uh, Virtual Shared Graphics Acceleration, their VSGA technology. This technology is completely agnostic to the hardware. So right now, I, I am running NVIDIA Grid K2 cards, but it doesn't matter. From a vSphere standpoint, it doesn't matter if I was using a Grid K2 or if I was going to use any vendor that comes out from here forward, so long as it can tie into the VSGA technology. One of the nice things about the VMware approach is that it's not tied to any specific hardware technology. So I could actually have different vendor hardware running inside of multiple servers in my data center. I could vMotion between these and won't matter. Well, another thing is I could actually vMotion to a machine that has no physical GPU and it would just start rendering everything on the CPU. Now, obviously your performance is gonna take a hit based upon what hardware you have to offload to, but it's nice that it doesn't actually tie to a specific vendor. But you can also tell in the time I've been talking, there's a major difference in the experience between these two technologies. Although you see that it's still using quite a bit of that K2 card up. So let's flip over and let's talk about NVIDIA Grid. So NVIDIA Grid technology is a proprietary technology. It is only NVIDIA's technology. It will only work with NVIDIA cards. So it is what it is. It is built by NVIDIA and NVIDIA knows a thing or two about doing high-end graphics. So you see what the end result is. A very good experience on a virtual desktop. And here we can see that on average, you're always burning more uh, GPU on this than you do on, on the one on the left. Uh, but look at the frame rate difference here. Uh, using VSGA, I'm at three frames per second on average right now. Uh, using Grid vGPU, I'm at 27 frames per second. That's almost a 10x difference in experience. That is a massive uh, difference considering I'm using the same hardware underneath it. Now what you can't see on my screen is that with dual K2s in, in the machine, I actually have four PCIe base and what you're seeing on this physical GPU utilization, utilization it's only one of the bays, which gets me into my next point I want to talk about. Using the grid vGPU technology, you actually have three modes that you can use a K2 card in. There's the K200 mode, the K2040Q mode, and the K2060Q mode. The, each one of these modes is basically a different level of performance. I'm in the K200 mode. Uh, K200 is the most scalable mode. So what you're actually seeing on the right is what NVIDIA considers the most scalable mode for a K2 card. And that most scalable mode just did an outstanding job over VSGA, which is also, I would imagine, designed for scale. Now, according to their release notes, it's supposed to support 16 total um, VMs running in the K200 mode. I find that, uh, I don't buy that. Uh, if you've, as you saw the physical GPU utilization throughout the test, you'll notice that uh, I was using 70% of it. Now, uh, again, a K2 card has two slots, so I was really only using 72% or 70% of one of those slots. But if you're saying that it's going to go to 16, I find that hard to believe. While there was a ton of RAM left over, there was very little GPU left over. Regardless, I'm going to, for the experience I got, I'm going to get a pretty decent consolidation ratio. And so one thing I'm going to do, probably uh, push to see how many VMs I can get and what the experience is when you push the limit. So I'd like to run the K200 at a full 
uh, 16 VMs per card. So keep in mind, there's two cards here, so I actually could get 32 VMs at a high experience. So as the test wraps up here, uh, I just want to kind of recap what, what we've seen, which is you're about to see the benchmark pop up, and you're going to see a 10x difference in the final score of 70 to 704, and you see frames per second is exactly 10x difference. So major difference in technologies here, although I'm using the same VDI platform, Zen Desktop, and I'm using a different hypervisor, vSphere 5.5 versus Zen Server 6.2. Hope you enjoyed.